Good morning, guys. Welcome to the Peach Tree Morning Show. Buenos dias. <laughs> Dobro jutro. Dobro jutro. And how is it? How is how it is in Vietnamese? Uh, oh. Nobody knows. No, uh, oh, we, how about, know. uh, we need journey? you guys to help us. How good, do you say good, good morning? morning? Yeah, Vietnamese viewers, uh, uh, write in a video how to say good morning in Vietnamese. Take it away, boss. So it's Tuesday, February 11th, and today we have a cool question from Moscow. From yesterday. From Vika, and we showed it to you yesterday, so let's see what she's Hello, everyone. About. My name is Victoria, and I'm from Moscow. <coughs> And we have a question from business audience from Russia. Uh, recently, their businesses started growing, and they have uh, billions of rubles businesses. But their profits started dropping down. What is the reason for that? Thank you so much. Okay. Nice question, Vika. Excellent question, Vika. Uh, I think many people have this question. You work, you work, you work, the business make money, but in the end, you end up with no profit, okay? Or so, there's like fluctuations and a lot of stress, right? Yes, fluctuations, stress. So, what do you guys think? Uh, do you mind if I start? No, please go ahead. Uh, I have. Uh, this was a big thing in the diamond business. Everybody thinks diamond businesses make a lot of money, but we just move a lot of money, and we can move a hundred million dollars in a few months wow. and not make a penny. Wow. You know, it's just move, move money. Oh my God. And uh, we don't very, make any money. Very frustrating. Yeah. And I was thinking about it classically in the ancient books. Uh, and I said, I think you've got to get used to the idea of these seed correlations being unexpected sometimes. And in the ancient books, and I'll just put it out there as an idea we can talk about. It, mm -hmm. right? yeah. They say a lot of that comes from uh, wasted talk. Wasted talk. Yeah. Okay, you wow, that's a, that's a wild like, word. Why don't you give us an example? What is wasted talk? Well, I'll say two examples. Yeah, okay. okay? Uh, I've noticed whenever I, and the ancient books say, anytime two people get together, they start wasting time. They start talking about things that aren't really very important. Like meaningless? Yeah. Like the, what, what does that mean that's, not, that's meaningless though? Right? I mean, talk, that, 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 a, there's a list. It's like no, but I mean, like it doesn't help people? Is that yeah, the point? Yeah, it's just blah, blah. Okay. Like you just want to talk about some crime or some movie startup. Gossip. 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 Gossip, Gossip. Yeah. Gossip or things that doesn't help anybody. Or just, f some, sometimes we talk just to fill the time. We have nothing mm -hmm. to say, yeah. but there is like kind of this voidness. So we fill the time, we just blah, blah, blah. Something. But why do you think, what's the connection between that and being very busy at work and not making money. Okay, so for, for those of you who have no idea what the heck we're talking about here, uh, you know, DCI was founded 11 years ago to present uh, great ideas from uh, ancient culture that talk about, you know, cause and effect. And so we're looking for uh, deeper causes for the things we see around us. And so I think the basic premise is that, uh, the, you know, everything that, we experience comes from whether or not basically we did something that helped somebody or, or didn't help somebody, right? Is that kind of where we're going? So this is a hidden correlation. Some of the correlation, they are very, very obvious, right? You know, uh, if I lie, people will lie to me. If I'm generous, I will see prosperity in my life. But here we're talking about something that is not, it, it doesn't, it's it's not normal. It's not like oh we will come up with this on our own. It's a hidden correlation. Maybe Geshe Michael, can you explain a little bit more about it? It's, it's a hard one to imagine, right? I mean, this is this is like this is the technique of using the system. So, Go ahead. Geshe In the corner, me first. Of all. <coughs> In the corner, right behind. Uh, okay, this is my idea. Yeah. I was in a debate. Yes. So, and I like to talk about it because it's a big honor. It's like the debate Olympics, you know. Mm -hmm. And all the monks from the great monasteries, they go to the debate ground. And sometimes we do all night. It's uh, one month out of, the, out of the year. And we all meet. Mm -hmm. They pick 50 of the greatest uh, debaters from each place. And we meet together for one month and we debate. So my, every, and everyone remembers their most famous good debate they had. And everybody remembers the worst debate they ever had. So my most famous good debate was... Uh, on this idea of three different levels of reality. And mm -hmm. I hope it's not going too deep, but 
It's <laughs> called. Uh, is good. We like yeah, it. It's called. <laughs> yeah, Tip is good. Mungir. Say Mungir. Mungir. Kokir. Kokir. Shinto Kokir. Shinto Kokir. So Mungir. Kokir. Kokir. Shinto Kokir. Shinto Kokir. Shinto Kokir. Mungir means things you can see with your direct senses. And uh, somebody asked, you know, obviously the brown color of the coffee or the green color of the water bottle or those are objects of your direct senses because that's called mungyur. It's called obvious reality. Somebody asked me, is there any mental mungyur? Mm -hmm. And there is. It's listening to your thoughts. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can listen to your thoughts the way you look at the color of the brown. That's called mungyur, first level reality. Second level reality is called kokyur. And that's where... You know, if I if I ask you, uh, what do I have in my hand? And I, yeah. I put the cup behind my back. And then with your logic, with thinking out, you know there's a brown color behind my back. So that's called kokyur, slightly hidden. Okay. Yeah, but you, you, you come to this conclusion based on logic, right? Yeah, I hate to say logic because people hate logic, but... You think about it and you figure it out. It makes out. sense. You say, you say, oh, it, it makes sense. Or you say, I figured it out. Yeah. yeah. And then Shinto Kokir is so deep that only a person with special insight can see it. Maybe one person out of a generation or something. And, and the example is, uh, when you do a lot of business and you don't make money, then people with deep, deep understanding spend many, many years thinking about it. They will see the Shinto Kokir. It means very, very hidden uh, thing. Where does it come from when your business does a lot of, you're very busy. You mean deep causes like my accountant really deep in the books <laughs> is making a little mistake that somehow, even like, is that what you're talking about? No, I mean like, uh, who could guess in a normal business school if someone said to you, look, uh, our diamond company does, I I've seen diamond companies that do $200 million a year with zero profit. And uh, who could guess that it's connected to gossiping? You know? no, nobody, yeah. Yeah, 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 nobody would come up. So we said, okay, there are the conventional way that we can look at our business and say, oh, we don't make money because we spend too much or we don't have our budget correctly. And this is valid, right? We don't, yeah. say, we don't say in DCI, I don't use it. We say, yeah, you should have a budget. You should uh, think about how to, in a conventional method, how to improve your business and make it profitable. But we said there is something underneath it that drive your decision and drive and drive the uh, the method that make it make your conventional method work. You mean something that you did that's forcing you to see this problem, right? Is that yeah, it? But and, and sometimes you can do a budget and still it's not going to work, right? And you're still going to have the same problem. So budgeting doesn't work all the time. You need, we, need, we say in DCI we need to understand the deeper causes. And the deeper causes for this problem that Victoria was giving it to us here, um, I work, I work, I work, there is a flow of money in my company, but I don't make any profit. Yeah. It comes from gossip. The hidden correlation is that and it, it's weird it's strange right it's not intuitive we wouldn't think about this i'll say two more things one is um, so i think the biggest kind of gossip nowadays is how we use the internet oh and, wow uh, we just blah 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 wow. just blah 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 yeah. if you look at everything going on in the internet right now i mean personally i think about 90 percent of it is just we call it blah blah it's just wasted talk nobody intends it to last for more than a few minutes. Nobody thinks it's really important. They're gonna, if, if you cannot remember a piece of news two days later or three days later, then I would say it's probably wasted time and, and, and wasted talk mm -hmm. to think about it or to talk about it, you know, and you should protect your mind from those things. But I wanna go deeper with Ori. I have another question for you, uh, or Scott. Uh, Okay, so we said that for responsible accounting, for example, keeping good accounts, mm -hmm. is, is normally considered a key to making profits, obviously. You're watching your P&L, yes. uh, keeping an eye on the... And so that means you have to have a good accountant, like we have. Yes. You know, Rob Wessinger, we have this amazing uh, bookkeeper. Hi, Rob. We have amazing accountant, and yeah, cheers <laughs> to you. And uh, so... Normally in a business school, they'd say, oh, 
if you're not making profit, then something you can look at is being more careful with your accounting and keep an eye on the numbers. Now, my question to you is, if you're very careful not to gossip, and then you don't keep good accounts, will you make a profit? Oh. Because you said, you gave a nice example. You said, making a profit, if it comes from good accounting, the real deeper cause is, is not blah, blah, no blah, blah, not wasting time talking. Mm -hmm. But what if you take away the good accounting and you just have the deeper cause? What do you think? Okay. So that's bringing me to... This. Can you have sloppy accounting? and watch gossip and you make fun. So it brings me to this very cool concept that we talk about DCI. When I have a headache, right? Mm -hmm. Can I, uh, should I take ibuprofen? Or should I, if, if, if what's run the, the whole show, if I get rid of my headache, it will be the seed that I planted. So maybe I don't need the ibuprofen. Or maybe I can just drink a sip of my coffee and I get rid of the ibuprofen. Do I need the vehicle? This is what we're talking about. I want to say something first of all. Because the ibuprofen or, you know, whatever <clears throat> is a vehicle for the seed to ripen. And, and in business, we're talking the accounting is a vehicle for the seed to ripen. But do we still need the vehicle? This is, yeah. this is the question that we ask. Okay, what do you think? Well, first of all, about the, you know gossiping, whatever you want to call it, using the internet. I love my telephone. Um, I can't hold it in my hand right now because we're using it to actually record the segment. Okay. But like, I love it. And I love how it keeps me connected to the world. I marvel at it every day, how much it allows me to you know, keep in touch with so many of our friends, so many countries around the world. And by the way, hi, you guys. We're so glad you're watching. And um, yeah, thanks for sending in all this. Yeah, questions. thanks for all the questions. Dude, you they keep send sending. more. Please Wouldn't send. Keep sending? Oh, yeah, send? keep sending questions. Uh, to seed questions at diamondcutterinstitute.com. We got a bunch of new questions from uh, Switzerland, uh, Fernanda in Mexico City, a uh, number of people, yeah. Uta, uh, Vietnam, Paul Nguyen from Vietnam. And so, anyway, back to the subject um, <laughs> about you know the question of what is gossip. Look, based on what I've learned, uh, as long as my motivation is good, like if I'm trying to do something nice, make somebody feel good with what I write, even if it's a stupid little, you know, five second thing that is a little joke, if I'm trying to do something to bring somebody's mood up, then there's a, we would say there's a good seed there. So I'd be careful. I don't want to, we don't want to scare people and say you can't use your telephone. I think it's beautiful to oh, be in yeah. contact with people and let's use it. Let's, you know, stay use, in contact. Use the internet to spread good messages. Yeah, right. Messages that help us. And people. use it functionally. And then you plant a great seed. Right. And use it functionally to communicate, to do productive stuff. We've been incredibly productive in DCI for 11 years now. Yeah. And, so uh, let's go. Okay. Now moving on to the, the vehicle question. The vehicle yeah. question. So, you know, yeah. he said, so I guess you might have said like, uh, if my accountant does, or uh, I do terrible work, but I plant a good seed. Yeah, if I uh, plant a good deeper seed. Uh, if I, I plant a good deeper seed to be successful in business, but my but accounting. the immediate seed sucks. Yeah, the, the immediate seed of like bad accounting is like, conventionally speaking, we would say like. The vehicle is not uh, Chaos in, in, the, in the books of the business. Uh, my opinion is, you get both. Uh, like, the, you know, what we're experiencing right now is a result of a lot of different seeds, and so, uh, we would say that uh, you're, and I, I, I'd be interested to see if Geshe Michael, you know, debates me or contradicts me on this one, but like, uh, you know, look, okay, my accountant is, we would say, the result of my seeds. So I'm seeing my accountant That's doing something good or bad, mm. and, uh, or, or, you know, efficient, not efficient, you know, if, if, my, if, if Rob Rusinger, our accountant, is any indication, my seeds are really good there because he's awesome. And then, uh, and at the same time, uh, if uh, I planted good seeds for business by helping somebody else be prosperous, by helping other people's business, cause and effect, I'm going to experience the result of that as some kind of excellent uh, result in my own business. And we have seen many stories from people around the world like this. You, wanna, you guys want to respond to that? Um, okay, so it's still, we didn't really answer the question. And we've only got is about it, two minutes left. Okay, so yeah. is it possible for the vehicle uh, to be misused and still have wow. the seed ripen? Vehicle right? misused? Like you, you can, you, you, let's say you are not using budget well. 
you know, you're not doing, you're not doing your PNL. Oh, so correctly. the vehicle is a bad vehicle. Yeah, the vehicle yeah. is. Uh, yes, we can say the ve the vehicle is a bad vehicle. Uh, but if you if so, if you have if the seed is really really strong, right? Mm -hmm. You will not need the vehicle. Okay. Mm. If the seed is really strong, and the person knows how to plant the seed, this the seed will ripen without the vehicle. But for most of us, right now, we do need the vehicle. Right? Mm -hmm. we, it's necessary for us to have the vehicle, so uh, we, we still need to do a good p &L, we still need to do a good budgeting, but we have to understand it's just the vehicle. And right now with our, the seed that we have, the complex of the seed that we have right now is that we need this vehicle to get into the result. But the reason we got the result is because we planted the seed. Okay, so we got about a minute, when, minute, two what, minutes left. These guys are drinking their when, coffee. Once we, they need a hard answer now. They so say once, once we get, once we have the seed and the seed is strong, there will be a time that we won't need the vehicle. Okay, so give us an example. What they want to know, what do you do? I, I, I want to say one more thing. Uh, We're almost out of time. Yeah. When you talk about, can a deep seed bypass the immediate seed? Can you have... Uh, very careful not to wow. gossip or blah blah, and you have a lousy accountant. Okay, can you still make money? Can you still make a profit? Uh, normally not. Okay, but I think the ancient books would say, if your motivation is extraordinary, then uh, the deep seed could bypass the immediate seed. Let's say, so what's an extraordinary motivation? It always goes back to what we call a virus, or I guess we can't use virus right now. Uh, to, to your intention, you know, if your intention to make money in your company is to help the world, and I don't mean giving away the money necessarily, you know, I think uh, being, being a, a healthy part of an economy, you know, being one of the people who's producing things for other people to use, like building houses and making money building houses, I don't mean that that person has to give away the money 100% of the money to plant a powerful seed. I'm saying if their motivation to build houses is to serve other people and help other people, uh, it could bypass uh, having a lousy company. Okay. I have another something We're food, out of time. They, they, know, they want to know what to okay. do. Then let's, let's stop speaking in theoreticals and tell them specifically what food to do. Food for thought, okay? okay so uh, if a seed open four in four ways, okay? So uh, is it possible that uh, uh, that we will have a personal result that is good and the environmental result that is not good. If the seed is perfect, it should, it should be that the, our accountant is perfect. You know, our seed is perfect and our, our company makes money. But they need to know specifically what to do. And we got to finish and strip too much I think you should leave it like that. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think, no, I have a proposal. You guys write us your, your answer. Okay, and my question is, our question is, if you have a powerful deep seed and you have a lousy, so you have a deep seed which is very powerful, you are not gossiping in your company, but the immediate seed is a, is a lazy accountant, mm -hmm. can you still make a profit on lots of business? We want to hear from you, and we want you to write in um, to seedquestions at diamondcutterinstitute.com. And give us your opinion. And, and let's see what you have to say. And we'll take some of the great opinions in the next few days and okay. hear from other people from other countries. And I also want to say what you're saying about building houses. We, uh, we're, because of our good friend uh, Bing Nguyen in Ho Chi Minh City, we, we've been able to now work on building two houses for people in Vietnam. And we really want to congratulate you guys for working on that effort. Thank you so much for that. What do you say, boss? What's going on for tomorrow? Um, we have to... We have to see. We're going to show you next. a question for tomorrow. Just so you guys can think about it. Maybe you want to write in some suggestions about it. Um, okay, let's see. We okay, have, who, who are we, we have here from? Paul Liu. Liu from Vietnam. Chào người khác. Khi dùng năng lượng và sức mạnh của mình nó nhiều hơn, dồi dào hơn. Okay. We got the translation. We got the translation, Scott. Please go ahead. Okay, uh, Bing Nguyen, once again, we got a quick translation from you. Basically, Paul is saying, uh, why, he says, I'm 55 years old, living in Vietnam, 
And uh, he says, why is it basically that I feel more energy when I'm working to do things that benefit other people? Interesting question. Okay. Let's see you tomorrow. Let's see you tomorrow. All right, guys, have a great morning. Thank uh, you. Glad for you can watch. Uh, send us your uh, comments uh, in, in the video. You can comment in the video. And also send your questions to seedquestions at diamondcutterinstitute.com. Please make sure that the video is in vertical style, like selfie style, and uh, in less than 30 seconds. Only selfie videos, less than 30 seconds, will be con considered. And uh, we're excited about everything coming in. I think that's all we got for today. Yeah, thank you. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye -bye. Nicely done, boss. All right, you guys have a great day. Bye for now. Bye.